Well, hello again, second graders. It's us. <laughs> We're <teachers>. back <laughs> with another exciting video that you're going to love. On writing. Remember forever. They're yeah. going to keep this one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Today we are going to review the four types of sentences that we've been talking about in grammar over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, in our morning meetings we've been covering these, so this should be review for you. And they're probably going to do really well. Yes. So just to recap, there are four kinds of sentences, and we know that there are four kinds of sentences because we take a look at what they say and how they end. We know that all sentences start with a capital letter, but their punctuation mark tells a lot about what the sentence or what type of sentence we have. Yes. There are two kinds of sentences that end in a period. One of them is called a statement. It just gives a fact or tells you something. Another one is a command. I like to think of it as a bossy sentence. It tells you what to do. You want to tell us about the last two? Sure. Our last two are all very easy to identify, but that doesn't always mean they're the easiest to write. Mm -mm. So an exclamation is easy to identify because it ends in an exclamation mark or point, some people say, that looks like an upside down eye. And we use an exclamation when our sentence is showing a lot of emotion. What we're saying is showing a lot of emotion. If I were to read this sentence and it had a period, I might say, the tree is on fire. Mm. I feel like if there's a tree on fire, I would be a bit more emotional about mm -hmm. it. Especially if it were near me. So if you have that exclamation mark, read it like it has an exclamation mark. The tree is on fire! <laughs> That's how I would read it. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you would say it? Probably. I, I might suck. The tree's on fire! I might go low. Like I might go high. The tree's on fire! Depends. I, I might throw an I'm accent in. I don't know, but it's gonna have, it's gonna be an emotional sentence. It is, no matter what. Yeah. I really like, I'm never gonna forget this video. Yeah. Okay, continue. Question. Hmm. Ends in a question mark. Easy to spot. Go figure. Also usually starts with a question word. Not usually. Mm, Always. Okay. It does. Words like who, what, when, where, why, how, is, does, those kinds of things. Will, could. Yeah. I'm looking for an answer. Okay? I don't know the answer. Where is the fire? Well, if the tree is on fire and somebody's <laughs> yelling, hopefully it's not too hard to find. If maybe the person asking that question said it to a person who didn't use an exclamation point. They probably said, the tree is on fire. And then so this person was probably like, where is the fire? Like, I says, told you to stay away from the fire. The fire is hot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, these people, ugh. okay. I feel like we need to just yeah. talk about fire safety, right? But that's not what this video no, is for. It's not, it's about sentences. What are you gonna do on this video though, is the real <laughs> question. We want you to do something with this knowledge. So we're going to write down an example sentence for each of the four kinds of sentences, and you're gonna copy those. And then you're gonna come up with your own example on the second line for each of them. Do they all have to be about fire? No, they can be about whatever you want, and they don't even need to be related. Like, I could write four sentences about my cat. If you, could, you wanna do that, you can. You can stay on theme or topic. Okay. Or I could just write four random sentences mm -hmm. that are correct in the type of sentence they are. I say to keep this video moving along, we do some random sentences. Okay, sure. All right, I'm gonna start us off. The first one is a statement. It's just stating anything. So I'm going to write that um, second graders are, you wanna know what they are, Mrs. Grant? Smart. They are smart. Mm -hmm. And that's mostly because of us. And that's a fact. That's, that's why you put a period because it's stating a fact. Yeah, I want you to know that, it's, and it's a true fact. Second graders are smart. You're not saying second graders are smart. Mm -hmm. It's not a question. No, no. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to do a command, mm -hmm. and this is going to be a command for you. Okay. All right. Are you ready? You're going to tell me to do something. Yeah, yeah. All I'm right. I'm going to say teach the children. All right. Fine. Okay. That's Stop twisting my arm. I get it. That's Teach my the bossy children. sentence. That's your job. Teach the children. Teach the children. All right. You ready to learn about some exclamations and some questions? I've got some for you. I can't wait. <sighs> How about <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm emotional about it. You are or I could have said Ms. Marquardt. Yeah. 
You are amazing. And I'm emotional and I'm happy and I'm excited. So I'm putting an exclamation mark at the end. That really made me feel good too. I filled your bucket. You did. That's what I'm here for. It's full. Finally, a question. I'm just going to think of a question word and ask a question. Um, what time is it? Well, it's Monday, September 21st at whatever time you're watching us. this video. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? I started with, we started with a capital letter for every sentence. We ended with the correct punctuation depending on the type of sentence. Yep. And we made sure that it followed the guidelines of what each sentence stands for. So now all that you guys have to do after you copy these is to come up with one example of each on your own. Yeah, and they can make it really funny if you yeah. want. If you want to try and make us laugh when we grade your work, that would be awesome. If you want to just keep it simple and get it done quickly, that's okay too. But we want neat handwriting, we want capital letters, and we want to make sure that it follows the correct punctuation at the end.